part of January class, uh, you have much longer breaks, and it really, uh, you know, allows you to take advantage of, of some of these selectives. And I had, you know, plenty of classmates that uh, did the Thailand one and the Prague one uh, specifically, and I was so jealous of them when they came back because they were raving about it, about their experiences. Uh, you know, because when you're in the, uh, you know, in the lecture setting, you know, you're kind of just focused on the books and. You know, you do a lot of simulation stuff, working with, you know, uh, what are called standardized patients, which are pretty much just actors. Um, but, you know, these students, my classmates, really got the opportunity to go to uh, another country. They got to go abroad and actually work with physical patients, real patients, in a real clinical setting, in the hospitals, uh, working under, you know, foreign physicians in a new healthcare system. Uh, so in addition to, you know, learning in Grenada, they were getting this, you know, super diverse uh, exposure to a different clinical setting. Hi everyone, my name is Christy. I, um, I'm from New Long Island as well, so shout out to Long Island. Woo! And I was told, oh, you don't need any more than six weeks to study. And it's true, okay, you can study a lot in six weeks, but if you have a lot of stuff going on and if you're stressed out and if you wanna take an extra week, you absolutely can. And you can still start on time for your clinicals, which is amazing. When I decided to apply for, for SGU, I, I was pretty late in my application and I wanted to start in the August class. Um, and unfortunately the class was full, so I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't start right away and I had to delay my start till January, which ended up being the biggest blessing uh, in my opinion, only because I had no idea that you had all this time to prepare for steps and, and boards and all that kind of uh, exams that we have to take as, as a med student, you know. So if you know that you want to do medicine and this is something that there's no, you know, no looking back, this is, you're committed to this, this is what you're passionate about, then, you know, it's like if you wanted to, I don't know, uh, if you want something really badly, you want to get something really badly, you would just go for it, you know? And that's the same thing here. This is your life, this is your career. Um, this is basically going to help define who you are, I guess, in, you know, in the hospital, wherever you choose uh, in, in the next coming years. So medical school is four years long. Residency is another three years or four years or five years, depending on your specialty. So my question in my head is why wait, right? Because you start now, you have, um, you know, the time, the resources that are here at SGU to help you become that doctor that you wanted to be. For me, being a doctor was always something that I've always wanted to be and it's something very cliche, I know it sounds like that, but um, you know, I couldn't have done it without SGU. And second of all, I know that the fact that I started in January for sure definitely helped me prep for my exam, my step one, which is the biggest exam like we've all said so far that you will ever take. Step two, which actually supplements your step one score you know, uh, interviews, being ready to meet people, ask questions, learn about the hospital programs that you're going to be part of as a resident. All those take time, take energy, take a lot of thought. So, you know, having that extra time in January, it's never going to be something that's going to harm you. It'll always only help you become a better applicant, um, as well as better, uh, in my opinion, like, you know, you get to relax more, you get to uh, spend more time with family. I got married, actually, in my, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, medical school journey, actually. So thanks to January, I had time to do that as well. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of things that life always happens. Uh, no matter what, it doesn't stop when you're, you know, going through medical school or trying to figure out your career choices. Um, but being in January gives you that time to kind of balance life and your career at the same time.